two tribes come to Moshe Rabbeinu with a request. We're told in this week's parsha, Matos Masse, that the Jews are going to enter the land of Israel to settle it. But the children of God and Reuven, they desire to settle actually right outside of the borders of Eretz Israel in an area known as Ever Hayardin. And they tell Moshe Rabbeinu that this land is appealing to them to build pens for their livestock and cities for their wives and for their children. And in negotiating the terms under which the settlement will be acceptable to Moshe, Moshe does something subtle. He tells them that you can for sure build cities for your children and for your wives, as well as pens for your livestock. And the Medrash picks up on the fact that Moshe switches the order of these two items. Because whereas B'nai God and B'nai Ruven came to him and said that they want to provide accommodations for their livestock and then build cities for their wives and their children, Moshe tells them that they can do the exact opposite. And in so doing, he sends them a subtle rebuke. He says to them, make sure to always keep your priorities straight. Yes, it's important to care for your livestock. Yes, it's important to care for your livelihood and your physical comforts. But don't ever mistake the importance of physical amenities for what should be the more basic component of every society. And that is, of course, the infrastructure of solid Torah-based community. First, build cities for your wives and your children. Take care of the spiritual needs of your neighborhood, of your community, and then care for your cattle and your livestock, then take on the luxuries in life, then provide for your physical sustenance. The secret sauce to building community, says Moshe Rabbeinu, is to focus on the internals, focus on the infrastructure, focus on the Torah and the chesed, focus on the family units, focus on the wives and the children, focus on yourselves, and then provide for your physical needs. This is how we build the Jewish people, both inside Eretz Israel as well as abroad. Have a wonderful Shabbos.